Captain KBA, one tech traveler here, and this is Last Shelter, and you're joining me in the second Hero Returns pool. We're gonna check it out. Uh, I didn't get to do a video last week since I was uh, too busy to cover it, uh, but we'll also be talking about the first Hero Return you can expect post season five, and for our state rangers, Eden Dissidia. That might change, but should give you a good reference. Now, the devs have actually been kind of screwing around with these hero return drops because they are changing literally heroes in and out throughout the day. Um, that has really sort of messed up what heroes you can pick up. And I'll show you a screenshot of what it looks like before the, the main hero returns that you'll see here. Um, but I will say it is for the better and it's also a very good one too so just a recap on the first hero return post season five we had we had this ex machina vanguard knight caesar viscount captain ivanov that was a very strange one since like the main season hero pickups was this ex vanguard and knight whereas caesar ivanov and viscount was sort of relegated to the legendary tier we never know if there's actually had any fundamental change on the hero pickup or frequency. Um, I did do a ticker pull on that hero return and after 90 RNG tickets. So again, really not great and a very risky pull in general. Um, even if you have all the heroes here, I will say the top pick would be Captain Ivanov from the pre-SX uh, lineup and then Caesar Vanguard, this X Machina all making sort of good pickups in this pool whereas the knight and viscount pretty less relevant i will say Anne just has a little bit more going for her compared to the competition that viscount is up against but it's really captain even off in this seasonal hero pool of six after my 90 rng this is what i got oh Yes, come on, I got even off. Yes. Oh, 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 yes. Oh my god, that is literally who I wanted. Ooh, I literally risked it for the chocolate biscuit and it paid off. Oh my god, I was gonna say that took 90 tickets, so the RNG wasn't great, but he's exactly who I needed and wanted. So yeah, really happy with that and uh, was quite a tough one and for me there was uh, three out of the six that I would have been happy with which was Caesar Vanguard and Captain Ivanov but of course uh, the main pickup in this one was was Ivanov himself. Everyone else is kind of not really worth uh, dropping your super tickets especially for the RNG um, but for me luckily it worked. Having said that in the second hero returns pool it did slightly change for the better this is a pool of three after the adjustments and we'll talk about what it was before and it's a pretty good one. Um, you can see here for Hero Return, we have Countdown, Tech Priestess and Inquisitor. Just a pool of three making it really high quality and I will say there is a, a high frequency of being able to pull Tech Priestess in this. If you have any of these heroes, um, it's worth dipping into to try and pick up tech priestess because she's a still a very top tier fighter hero and just in mixed apcs giving you that a lot of flexibility countdown i would also say being still a very relevant and also proven to be quite valuable in essex with her troop recovery block for two turns as a damage dealer that no others provide for the back row and then inquisitor and a usable type of shooter hero but not really that great and kind of the the weakest pickup of this however saying that it is just three heroes 33 percent chance in theory of getting either of these heroes um and tech priestess being the key one that you want to pick up from this now this is now provided that it actually works as what we see here um in the beginning from resets of hero hero development day it was actually this was actually a six hero pool and like in the first hero turn we did have three seasonal heroes into the legendary quality line which was 
pretty strange. Um, again, some people sort of thinking that might change sort of the RNG or the luck that you can pick up since it's not really like one of those hero return um, heroes to max out a luck meter. I really can't comment on that. My previous experience with Captain Ivanov has, you know, been 90 RNG. I do hear sometimes 50. And with this new adjustments, you are more likely to pick up good heroes. And before the adjustment, it was showing Commissar, Venom Walker, and some other hero I forgot about that is not great. So it was actually very risky from what it was before. But now it's actually far better. And if you do have tickets, I do recommend going for this to pick up that tech priestess. And if you're lucky, you can. And if you're lucky, you'll land her. And it'll sort of free up some of your doomsday coins um, or hero tokens to pick her up. Provided you have a good amount of super tickets left over. If you don't have that much, it's pretty risky. Alternatively, if you do have any of these heroes that are already maxed it also makes it very risky to try and pick up tech priestess unless you've got a good amount of tickets so for me i already have a maxed countdown which already reduces this worth a lot because if i end up pulling tickets and i get another copy like that's pretty much a waste of tickets um but yeah, for Tech Priestess, if you do have it, like it is worth going in here. And if you're lucky, you will really pick up. It will really save you some hero development along the way because she is super strong as a fighter with still one of the best kind of healing setups and with uh, other SX heroes really providing great synergy with her. Um, definitely a great one to have. Um... And in terms of the heroes, uh, pretty familiar with them now since I've got them well developed or, or maxed. Um, Countdown will be your alternative to your Death Rider, Huntress, Captain Ivanov, um, depending on how your hero development has been. Uh, she could be one that will help prop up your back row damage dealers of four vehicles. Um, I will say the others are a bit more prioritized with just how much more potent they are compared to Countdown and just some of her limitations in Synergy. For example, she doesn't basic troop attack, so that already removes a lot of the combinations like with Panther, Anna. Um, but playing well with other combat skill heroes, for example, Vanguard, uh, Heaven's Redemption, Caesar, like providing good balance or carrying areas where countdown is a bit more exposed to or more vulnerable from she is an all-round damage dealer so second strike is the most valuable against those high healing apcs where they cannot recover troops for two turns and it provides 750 percent damage which is pretty reasonable death comes is that guaranteed damage that will hit every turn cannot be countered and is reliable in that sense but first strike is the one that you want to hit, which does require one turn. But first strike is that one turn prep. Um, but if it is able to execute, then it does provide over 1000% damage. And that's across all enemy squads. So she has two skills that can hit all three enemies and is great for really reducing a lot of that troops. Tech Priestess, again, a fundamental hero that is great to be well developed or you should look to, to max. And once you start opening up more SX hero varieties, she plays well in a lot of the top combinations. For example, uh, Tech Priestess, Wrath and Hummingbird is a great mixed APC. Where Wrath's high frequency of self-hitting to your own formation triggers Tech Priestess's healing. That means that you can recover much more than other combinations. You could also pair her with Kami for very high healing or Cannoness on an all-fighter combination with Siren in the back row. Uh, she's very flexible, really awesome healing setup that does it per damage received rather than waiting at the end of turn or needing a skill to activate. And if her confusion counter lands to two enemy squads, then that can also 
sort of avoid and actually allow them to deal damage to their own as well as a uh, 2 friendly squad 60 bonus uh, damage. And then we have Inquisitor who is an S2 shooter hero. Um, of course there's kind of key heroes across the seasons that are still relevant. Um, Inquisitor is far more limited in, in terms of his synergy with Essex heroes. It doesn't necessarily mean that he's, he's bad. He is decent but shooters definitely are far more upgraded when you look at S4 and SX and they are heroes that are kind of in the positions that Inquisitor plays which means his staying power and relevance isn't so great uh, if you do have Valkyrie and um, if you do have Valkyrie and Patriots that makes a very front loaded like early turns high damage combination but they don't really stack up well com compared to uh, other very strong uh, combinations. I do like him if his Judgment of Justice does pulls off because it provides disarm to all enemy squads for two turns which is nice those more focused on basic troop attacks um, however even though it's like a 30% chance which is kind of similar to I believe countdowns 35 and 30 um, I find him triggering less often than I would like so he is much more unreliable uh, in that sense and he also has a two-part element to him which needs that sort of flammable status to add that suppression state counter on his atonement skill that is for two turns it is also very strong atonement triggers uh, much more reliably and uh, which means he plays best with executioner you could also try him with siren sort of burning damage and see if that's able to open that i can't i haven't got her so i can't confirm but it's an option if you have siren um or you could also do it with hunk as well so hunk is of course not really <laughs> known to be but in terms of just different combinations there are possibilities but i will say inquisitor is the the weakest pickup from this hero return drop and then Countdown is uh, far higher up. Uh, I do highly rate her more so in Essex because healing is much more of the meta, which places her troop recovery block, um, which makes her troop recovery block more valuable, especially with other troop recovery uh, block heroes like Wrath, uh, mixed APCs with Glutton um, off meta, but some options there um or you can put it with high counters i like caesar hammer's redemption is a nice uh, balance support to uh, keep her going and then finally tech priestess just really being that top healing uh, hero so you have two s3s one s2 should you be dropping your tickets i will say if you have enough ticket coverage for at least two heroes and on an average rng of 80 or 90 so if you have roughly 180 tickets then I would say it's worth trying to dip into uh, for tech priestess um, if you are getting good RNG like 50 and you don't land tech priestess then you do have enough of buffer whereas if you either don't have much tickets or you sort of hit an average RNG and you can only put one hero um, it is going to be a bit of a tough one it is more likely you can get tech priestess considering it's just a three hero return drop but uh and if you don't get her and pick up countdown it's not the end of the world but she's kind of the biggest draw of why you'd want to pull into this to make life easier with all your other currencies of tokens coins um exchanges um but if you only have a very few amount of tickets like me um where i only have like 40 like i will just skip it because as much as i really like tech priestess um it's just too much of a gamble but if you have a healthy stack, definitely worth doing. If you also have any of these heroes max like Countdown, Inquisitor, again, it really ups the risk factor and how much you're willing to accept that if you do get those heroes, um, you know, whether you feel bad about it or not, uh, I know I will. So um, I'm just going to be a bit more strategic with my own ticket stack, considering I was uh, really lucky getting Captain Ivanov last time, then I'm going to kind of hold the brakes on on taking risks and gambles um, but this three hero job is much more favorable than what it was at reset which had commissar and venom walker and just some other random 
uh, dude really not worth it but in this three absolutely so that wraps it up this is hero returns week two postseason five um yeah thanks a lot for watching team kba i'll see you in the next one that wraps up the video if you liked it give a big thumbs up if you haven't yet, join the Team KBA community by subscribing to my YouTube channel and check out onetechtraveler.com for more stories, articles and videos around tech, travel and gaming. I'll see you in the next one, but until then, keep being awesome. Peace.